Hello, I'm Hayden Ireland, an automation specialist with electric supply and equipment. And in this video, we'll create a multi-state indicator in factory talk optics. After optics opens, select the screen, then select new and base control. Next, select label. We're going to drag the label object down onto the screen and then we're going to select properties and change the font size to 24 so we can see it. Then we're going to go up to text color and select add dynamic link. Select the advanced button and then select the plus button next to the text color. We're going to go in and select key value converter. That's going to be our multi-state indicator. Once it's configured, name the tag. And in this case, the tag is called This Is My State Tag. Once we select that, we're going to set up the table for the multi-state indicator. Select the key value converter and then select the configure icon. Then go to select string and select show all. Now scroll down to the color and select it. And then color becomes the main property of our multi-state indicator. In this example, we're going to increase the number of states to three. Now select the color for each state. Go up to the light dark and select dark. Then pick your color. And for this video, we're going to pick blue for state 0, and then green for state 1. And finally, we're going to go with red for state 2. To set the values for each state, go under key and select 1 and then 2 for each of the corresponding colors. With that set, let's add a second multi-state indicator which will show the text from the same tag. So go back to screen four and select the label object. Now we're gonna to go to the next text property for the label object and select advanced. Once the window opens, select the key value converter. Find your create tag and select it. Now we're gonna set up the table for the text. Click the plus sign to add your state and number them. Then add the text values to the next keys. Here we will add low, medium, and high. Close the key value converter and then go back to screen four again. Select that label object and move it down onto the black box. Now we're going to run the project using the emulate function inside of Factory Talk Optics. Center the runtime window and then select screen four. Switch back over to the Compact Logics program with a tag in it. Change that tag value to zero, which will be low. Then change it to one, which will appear as medium. And finally, Go change it to two, which will appear as high. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please contact your local ES&E account manager or automation specialist.